Hey guys, so I'm bored today. I, I don't have much to do. I have a day off. So I've been looking at my fishing poles and some of them are hanging right here. Some of them are sitting right here. And these, I did a homemade project one day and I didn't think it through because only very long poles can go in here, which is fine. I do have a few but um, I have some scrap wood uh, sitting over there from previous projects so I had the idea of maybe mounting all the fishing poles on the ceiling in the garage that way I free up my wall space so the goal is to mount it right about there somewhere and I can swing it up and down like this so I'll take this wooden pieces and then mount them right here underneath so that when this comes down I can pull it with a string and I can get the poles and then, um, and then it will go back up with springs so we'll see uh, let's see if we can make something all right so my son is gonna help me that's one of the uh, pieces we had left over from another project so we're gonna cut a few pieces and then we'll show you how we plan to do the, the top of the mounting. All right, you ready? All right, so we're gonna drill a hole where we're gonna put the screw later on. Let's see if we can get this right by hand. All right, so until I buy the right parts, and this is gonna be it. So here's the idea at the very end there. I'll put a couple of springs to hold this up and then a little string here to pull down. And now on this end, I'll mount those things to hold the rods. Once we have the spring, it will pull it up and hold it up. Okay, so we finished the pole storage rack, made the improvements we needed. So now we have a bolt up there. The, the spring here is the main spring. That's a backup just in case one of them comes off um, this area right here serves more to uh, provide support to the long pole here and on the other end my son came up with the idea where we used the hooks from the bungee cords and that way the tension is not all on the springs all of the time. And like this, you can hook them up and that's it. Yeah. One last improvement, added another layer. This was something I bought, I think, at Best Pro Shop or maybe Walmart, I don't know, the, the second layer here. So I added that one. So now it holds, I think, total of 17 poles, the, the springs hold, and honestly, majority of the time, the springs don't need to do work 
only when I release these from here. As it goes down, then it's down enough. I can remove whatever rods I want and then just bring it back up. I'm done.